What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel and I appreciate you being here. Today we talk about Anthem, the Destiny 2 killer. Well that's a joke within itself, although before Destiny 2 was released, everyone was saying that when Anthem does eventually drop, has no date has been released yet, but when it does drop, it looks like the type of game that would kill off Destiny 2. Now we all know that the only game to kill Destiny 2 is Destiny 2, it's pretty much doing that by itself. Anthem on the other hand is a much anticipated loot shoot by Bioware and EA. Now much of this puts many people off and it's the reasoning behind this video too. And that is loot boxes, microtransactions, another way for companies to take our money after the initial purchase of their game. And what we know about EA when it comes to this subject it's a little bit iffy. What they originally planned with Star Wars Battlefront was an absolute joke and it caused an uproar amongst the Star Wars Battlefront community. Now I won't get into the nitty bit of details of this as no doubt you've heard it a million times before. Well what it did do was ruin the reputation of the game. Star Wars Battlefront itself if you've ever played the game was incredible. Easily up there with my favourite first person shooters over the past 5 years. Plus it looked and ran so smooth and looked crisp on my Xbox One X. I absolutely loved it, I still do love it. But the game really suffered. So many people who planned on buying it simply just didn't because of this point. Even though EA fixed what was wrong with the game within the first week, it still put thousands of people off. Now if you saw the Star Wars trailer for the first time and actually saw in-game gameplay, you'd be like, oh damn that looks great, let me go check out a review of it. If that view was via 99% of any internet source, it would always come up with the game being ruined by microtransactions and the greedy pockets of developers. Now although like I said the issue was sorted and resolved, it's still a burden on the game and it always will be. And it's a burden on EA, they've basically shot themselves in the foot. So Anthem, a looter shooter we saw the trailer to ages ago at E3. News or anything for that matter has been scarce and to be honest, some of you might not have even known about this game or don't know what it is. If you did miss the initial trailer which we saw probably 6 to 8 to 10 to 12 months ago, yeah watch the teaser trailer before we go any further. The wall. It's our armor. It protects us from what lies beyond. But out there, you either live with the choices you make or die trying to change them. So, if you're a fan of, let's say, Borderlands, Warframe, Destiny, or any other looter shooter, surely this picks up on your interest senses. It does, for the most part, look great for sure. It looks like the best of many games all piled up into one. But, and a massive but, hangs over this game, and that is the fact EA are partly behind it. This is putting many people off and leaving them unsure about the game. Yes, no doubt the type of game is, microtransactions will be in the game but that doesn't mean they have to be a bad thing. Many many games have microtransactions and it doesn't take away from the main game. I've recently saw Star Wars basically ripped apart through microtransactions and we're also seeing the same happening to Destiny 2 due to Eververse but games such as Overwatch are fine with the system they have in place and games such as Warframe which are free to play but do have microtransactions for shortcuts are also fine too. Fortnite Battle Royale is another great free game which the developers are great with their community. This also has an in-game currency called V-Bucks which in my opinion don't take it away from the game. As long as Anthem, Bioware and EA don't try and get too greedy with Anthem it will do just fine. A pretty big game analysis not long stated that loot boxes will be in the game, though not confirmed by EA or Bioware, it is pretty much 100%. Anyone with a brain cell would know this. But here is what he also said on this matter. So the question for Anthem is, will EA screw up again like Star Wars or will they follow the Overwatch or Destiny roadmap where the actual game is fun to play and the payments are ancillary? Because where they got into trouble with Star Wars was making it pay to win. Had they limited themselves to purely cosmetic items, I don't think anyone would have said anything. 
So Anthem has the potential to be Destiny like in terms of game experience and Overwatch like in terms of microtransactions offered where it's all cosmetic and no one bats an eye. He noted however I think right now EA is in probation with gamers. I think everyone is watching everything they do. I don't think they can afford to put an onerous microtransaction scheme in any game going forward. They need to re-earn gamers trust again. So I hope they are sobered by this experience and learn from it. But I think they are smart, so I'm sure they will do the right thing going forward. We'll see. And to me people, that makes sense. EA is a billion dollar company surely. They have smart people working within their headquarters and they know they are on the naughty step at the moment and it will take a while for them to amend the mistakes they've made. They need to rebuild relations with us for sure. They need to try and win people back over. By doing this and gaining people's trust again, Anthem will flourish no doubt. But going forward they need to be honest and clear with the direction they are taking Anthem. At the moment not much is known at all, but there is hope for sure. I personally believe that there will be 100% loot boxes and microtransactions in Anthem, but they will not determine the game. Hopefully there will be an added extra feature which contain cosmetics only. That's the only case I can see anything as such passing without negativity from people interested in the game but put off by EA's past sins. Now Anthem is a game to come out later this year, so it's believed. I'm pretty sure new info will come sometime soon also, maybe in the form of a teaser trailer or just a recap of Bioware and what's going on at the studios. Either way guys, like I've said from day one, this is a game I plan on covering here on my channel. So if you are interested in Anthem and you are new to this channel, be sure to subscribe. Let me know your opinion on EA and loot boxes. Do you trust them? What will it take for EA to win back your trust? Are you done with them? Let me know. But thanks for stopping by as always and checking out the video. If you did enjoy it, leaving a like it really does help me out. And hopefully, people, I will see you on that next one. Fly into it. All right, let's do this. See you on the other side. Our story is out there.